Oh, hi there. Uh, you're here for the story, right? Please, come in. Take a seat. Over there. Don't worry, I have something for you. I, I didn't expect anyone to come, actually, but... But don't worry, I have a story. I really hope you like it. I worked pretty hard on it, actually, so... <clears throat> Not so long ago, there was a village high in the mountains, which was inhabited by two races. Goats were taking care of fighting and protecting the village. Ships on the other side were taking care of supplies, clothes and similar things. But there was one boy named Tabo. Even though he was a goat, he wasn't very good at fighting. But he had other abilities. He was very creative and open-minded, but as a son of the army's leader, that was not what everyone was expecting from him. One night, after an argument, in anger, he ran to the forest. It only took him a couple of minutes to realize in what danger he put himself in. He was trying to defend himself, but it was looking good for him. Suddenly, someone jumped over him and in seconds got rid of the enemies. When they finally stopped fighting, he noticed the white curly hair. They were a sheep. She grabbed quickly his wrist and started running. They ended up in some kind of shelter, but it wasn't looking abundant. When they were finally able to sit down, she introduced herself. Her name was Melanie. After a small talk, she said that even though she was a sheep, she was always very good at fighting. They were similar. They stayed for the night in the shelter, laughing, talking, and getting to know each other better and better. They passed, then weeks and months. They became best friends. But when Melanie met his parents, everyone started overlooking him and adoring her as the first sheep fighter. She started giving more time to fighting sessions. When she was around, everyone was ignoring him. He was standing in her shadow. Tabo wasn't hiding the fact that he was upset. He started avoiding her. But when she realized she started losing her best friend, it was already too late. One night, when she was going back home, she heard from the guard that this night, army leader was planning to get rid of his own son. Tebo was in danger. She started running as fast as she could to his house. He wasn't there. She started screaming his name, begging his mother to tell her where he is. Suddenly, his father came back. And the only thing he said was... He's gone. She left the house in silent, grabbed some things, and started running. She knew he was still alive. He's there somewhere. She had one goal, find her best friend and apologize for what she has done. Well, that would be the story. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I'll see you again one day.